While smartphone and tablet makers slow down their monthly security updates after a few years, Google continues to push out a new monthly update to all eligible devices. This set of changes is known as the Google Play System Update and tends to include new features and a collection of bug fixes and performance improvements for Android. Google has recently announced the new update for July 2023, and with it they have focused on Android Wear, the Google Play Store, Google Wallet, general bug fixes, and stability improvements. For this month, the update adds new developer features for Google and third-party app developers that allow them to support device connectivity related processes with their application. This change is for those with an Android Wear smartwatch, so look forward to app updates with these changes in the near future. This update will also allow us to see new events, updates, offers, and content that's available within an Android application or game, and you can see that while you're browsing through the Google Play Store. So look out for these new notices while you're in the Play Store app. There has also been some generic improvements to the stability of the platform for Android Auto, PC, smartphones, smart TVs, and smartwatches. We are even seeing this update include some bug fixes for the system management and diagnostics related services for those same platforms as well. I've also read that Google Wallet will be gaining the ability to quote, share your valuables, end quote, with others. I have yet to see an announcement as to what this entails, so we should be hearing something directly from Google about this feature in the coming weeks. For these changes to be installed, the Google Play Services application needs to be updated to version 23.26, and the Google Play Store application will need to be updated to version 36.5. These updates are usually installed automatically in the background without requiring the user to install them manually, but you could sideload these new updates if you wanted to. However, to get all of these new changes, we also need to manually install the Google Play Store update on your smartphone or tablet. This is not done through the built-in updater for over-the-air security updates like you may be used to. Instead, we need to dig through the settings application to find the about phone section. Depending on which phone you have, the menu items will be a bit different than what I can show you here. So the easiest way that I can suggest is to open up the settings app and then do a search for Google Play system update. That will give you at least one result that you can tap so that you're taken directly to the required settings page like in the Android version section. And from here, we simply need to tap on the Google Play system update so that your device can check to see if you are eligible to install the update for July 2023. If there is an update, it will be downloaded and installed automatically. The installation process will be rather quick, and when it's finished, you will be instructed to restart the device so that it can complete the installation. And we just need to tap on the blue Restart Now button when it appears. 
after the phone boots back up, I recommend you go back into the settings app and go to that same Google Play system update page to check and make sure that that update was installed properly. Not only that, but it's also a good idea to check to see if you have another update waiting for you to be installed. Remember, these Google Play system updates are released every month and are not part of the typical over-the-air security updates that you may be used to. So they need to be installed separately. Google has a history of slowly rolling out these updates to Android devices. So even if you aren't eligible to install the July 2023 Google Play system update right now, it's recommended that you check back again tomorrow or the day after that. 